So you're here because you want to get serious about animation. That's awesome. But there's one thing that you need to get used to right off the bat. Animation is hard. So you are probably going to suck, but that's okay. Everybody sucks when they start out and it's all part of learning. Now, animation is a continual learning process. You will always be learning and improving no matter how long that you've been doing it. You never just wake up one day and you've got it figured out. It's a journey. You may have heard the saying, learning to draw is learning to see. And that's true. When you're learning to draw, you actually have to train your brain to pay attention to all of the information it is actually seeing and then interpret that through your arm and your hand and onto the page. Well, animation isn't too different to that at all. But not only are you observing what's happening in a single instant of time, but you're also observing the changes over time. So what's the key to learning animation and actually getting better? That would be developing your eye. That means learning to see faster, learning to see better, learning to see what's happening, learning to see what's not happening. Now, why is developing your eye important? Basically, the better you see, the better you will animate. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a test. Let's see if you can spot the difference between these two examples. Here's the first one. And here's the second one. Now these are exactly the same except for one key thing. Maybe one of them looks smoother to you. Now most people could probably see this, but not everyone can actually see why. Now the first one is actually playing at 12 frames per second, and the second one is playing at 24 frames per second. Now maybe you were able to see that, and maybe you weren't. It doesn't matter for the moment, because eventually you will be able to see that. The first step is actually to be able to see that something looks different and weird, and then investigate further and figure out exactly why. All right, so that was a little bit of fun. Let's do another test, shall we? Let's watch this animation. Now, did you spot anything that looked a little bit odd? Let's take a closer look at that file. So here I am, I've just opened up my file and I'm just going to scrub through and see if I can spot any of the issues that I um, have noticed in that video. So there's kind of something weird happening around frame 15. Or oh, then again on 28. And this kind of section here, 28, 29, 30, looks a little bit odd. Then from uh, 36 to about 41 looks a little bit weird. And then our ending looks a little bit linear and we're hitting a wall kind of there. So I just turn on some grease pencil notes just to kind of emphasize what I can see. Now, okay, so from here, we've actually got um, a contact frame that's not actually touching the ground. So that's just some bad animation there on whoever animated this one. Now this one uh, here, frame 29, we're actually going through the ground. So that's a little bit too far. Now the next section here is a spacing error. So we're actually bouncing off the ground and then accelerating. I'll talk about that issue. It's a very common one. I'll talk about that issue in a later video. And then from 36, you can see my arc starts to slow down and it's kind of skewed to the right and we don't want that we want a nice parabolic shaped curve and then from about here this ending i'll just play this at normal speed you can see it's a little bit linear and then it hits the little wall here so it kind of just goes clunk and bounces off an invisible wall just turn off my invisible wall and you can kind of see it there now, I don't expect you to be able to diagnose the exact problem from a single viewing of the animation. But the idea is to develop your eye to a level where you can at least notice that something looks a little bit wrong or weird, and then you can go back and investigate further and figure out exactly what the issue is. Now, developing your eye is a skill that you need to work on and keep working on. But the good news is, with practice, you will get better. So how do we do this? How do we practice developing our eye? Well, that's the fun part by watching lots of animation. Watch good animation, frame by frame. Study what is going on. Watch bad animation. Learn from other people's mistakes, or your own. It doesn't have to be animation at all. You can just pay attention to the motion that's happening in the real world. I'll often pull out my smartphone and record anything that moves in an interesting way. Another way to get better is by animating, and animating a lot. Scrubbing back and forth and framing through your own work as you go, really paying attention to what's happening. Now, animation is not an easy journey because animation is hard, but it is a rewarding journey. So are you ready to start your journey? Awesome, you're an animator now. So now for your first task, 
Now, I don't want you to submit this one as an exercise or anything like that. This is just for you to watch and learn and start training your brain. I want you to go over this second example over and over. Just put it on loop and see if you can spot the errors as it's playing. Uh, you can also slow it down and scrub through the animation, but the idea is to be able to, to just to see if your eye can pick up where something is not quite right. And that is a starting germ that we're going to build on to develop your eye. Mm -hmm.